we're drinking right now, guys. Um, I'm really, really excited for you guys. This is one of my favorite cocktails of all time. And thank you again to Angostura. We are so lucky to have you guys. Because oh, it's, it's, it's an amazing product. And, and I think any bar on any spectrum between cocktail bar or dive bar or whatnot, anywhere you go is going to have Angostura behind their bar. And, and it, it's, it's just a staple and it has to happen. You know, kitchens bars, everything, has, and, and it's such a great product and we love it, and bitters are awesome. This is the Trinidad Especial, and the Trinidad Especial is one of the coolest cocktails, I think, because it has a full ounce of Angostura bitters in it, um, which you do not find in cocktails very often. You know, oh, it's a dash, or like, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna lovely garnish this with it. But it's, it's a really amazing drink because it's kind of that borderline between going absolutely nuts and just being genius. Experience. So I'm super happy to be here. And um, I am a bar geek, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the Manhattan cocktail and why the addition of bitters makes it better than just whiskey and vermouth. So I'm going to demo this so you guys can do this at home. A uh, three to one whiskey to vermouth. You could do it uh, two and a half to three quarters. You can tinker it to your own personal taste. And two dashes of Angostura bitters. You can also add more bitters if you like. I know some people who want five dashes, and that's all right too. Um, and it is, uh, it is bitter. It's bitters. We, we know that much just by the name of it. But the bitters, it is not, it is 40 ingredients in the secret recipe. Gentian root is the bitter root that is the one listed on the bat on the bottle itself. And there's also other elements, and when you taste it, I definitely get cinnamon clove, which is reputed to be used in bitters to help compensate and balance out the bitter element. But the bitter element lends itself to the vermouth, a fortified uh, spirit with roots and herbs in there as well. So the bitters kind of leans that way. And then with the cinnamon and clove in there, um, those little baking spice notes uh, lean towards the whiskey element. So as Julie's saying, the bridge or the glue to the um, two elements, it absolutely does that on many levels. whiskey and vermouth, and then take a sip of water, and then you can definitely taste the complexity that the bitters adds to it. Hopefully you all agree it is a better cocktail with bitters. And that